We are so fortunate to have Matt Tofino in house when it comes mm -hmm. to talking about climate change because he's so knowledgeable. Yes, he is. He's been talking about it all week. And today, Matt, you were talking about the Northwest snowpack. Yeah, we're also really lucky because we have so many great researchers here in the Portland area that are doing work to see what climate change looks like going forward, not only uh, locally, but regionally. So it's not just a well, it is a global issue, but of course there are regional and local implications, and that's where a lot of the research is being done. So I went and I talked to Dr. Ariel Catalano at Portland State University. These are this is some of her research on snowfall frequency here in the Northwest, and she looked at two different scenarios going forward through the end of the century. One is a business as usual where we don't cut our emissions, don't uh, you know, curtail the amount of CO2 that we're putting in the atmosphere. And then another one where we do, where we have mitigation and there is less CO2 going to the atmosphere. And the bottom line on this is if we look at it compared to the historical average, under a business as usual scenario, we see a decline in snowfall at all of our snowfall stations. But if we do have mitigation, then only about 54% of those stations experience a decline as opposed to about 80%. So that means that there is a, there, there is a change under different climate uh, change scenarios. Another way of looking at that as, is this, under business as usual emissions, uh, we see snow, snowpack decline at 98% of the stations, but under mitigation, we see a decline in the, or we see, the, we see a deceleration in that by about 99%. I talked to Dr. Catalano, and here's what she said going forward about what we can do. If there are um, global initiatives or even countrywide initiatives to um, introduce some mitigation and reduce the amount of carbon emissions, then there is a possibility that we'll reduce the decline in snowfall frequency, but that decline will still occur even under the mitigation scenario. There is still a decline, just that it decreases um, in the second half of the century. And this dovetails with something that uh, climate researchers saw, uh, call commitment warming. That is, we've already put so much CO2 in the atmosphere, even if we stopped all fossil fuel burning right now, which of course is impossible, even if that happened, we would still have and be committed to a certain amount of warming because of the increase in CO2 we put into the atmosphere. But going forward, if we do curtail those emissions, we can really have an impact on what it looks like in the future in the next century, guys. Back to you.